That is so smooth when it hits your lips. Eric Lohman here for the Monday Mulligan. Just got done playing a quick 18 during lunch. And what I wanted to talk to you today about was how important it is uh, to keep your score, but also to keep track of some of your stats during your round. I think it really uh, helps you improve and uh, can make you a better golfer sooner than later. Uh, so after the round, uh, usually if I've written it down or mentally I can remember most of these things, what I do is I go back and I check, uh, you know, how many fairways did I hit during the day? You know, obviously here at Monarch Beach, there's an opportunity to hit 13 fairways. You know, what percentage of those did I hit? And I always try to like have a benchmark of what my goal is for the day. And then if I missed a fairway, <clears throat> how many did I hit left? How many did I hit short? You know, how many did I spin too much? How many did I not get up in the air? That type of thing. And as I keep track of this information, you know, round after round after round, it helps me formulate a practice schedule. Obviously, if I'm missing, you know, a higher percentage of golf shots to the right, I would work on that. If I wasn't making solid contact, I would work on that. And there's lots of other things that you can focus on when you're at a golf course. Um, the number of greens that you hit. Again, left, right, short, long. Uh, there's also, did you uh, short side yourself on a green? That's when the pin is usually tucked either very front, very back, very left or very right. If you miss the ball on that side, it's awfully hard to get the ball up and down. You should challenge yourself over a course of a round of golf to try not to have too many of those short-sided shots. Um, and then obviously, I think one of the most important one is putting. You know, how many one putts did I have throughout the day? How many three putts? What's my total number of putts? Um, and then, you know, obviously last but not least, you should always have a handicap because how do you judge yourself if it's not against old man par. So my advice today is to uh, keep a handicap, uh, make mental notes of your rounds of golf or take stats and then review those and compare them uh, to your other rounds and, and talk about them with your PGA golf professional and come out with a great strategy for improvement out here on the golf course. That's uh, your Monday Mulligan out here at Monarch Beach Golf Links and uh, I think I'm going to enjoy the rest of uh, my drink. Have a great day. Cheers.